Hello, hello, hello everyone! How are you doing? Well, I hope... No, listen. Last time, last stream, we had this. We lost the run of ourselves. It was all very thirsty in chat. And it was, it was outrageous, okay? So I feel like this time, if we really all put our Final Fantasies into it, we can make it even <laughs> bigger than before. So I want to see real thirst in the chat. Or else. Um, started ever so slightly late today because just just laying it all out there, I realized um, literally just before I started the stream that Seb's game downstairs, because we have cloud save on in the, the um, RPS5s, um, overwrote our save from last time, but thankfully I had, uh, I had a hard save that was just short of where we left it last time, so if we need to reset um, any of uh, our abilities and stuff, that is why. Um, so, just so you know. Anyway, back to it. So last time, last time, what happened last time? Uh, we, um, we pre pressed L3 and R3 to accept the truth. Uh, the entire village, uh, all of the East Pudlians got massacred. It was, uh, it was, uh, something. And, uh, but most importantly, Clive got himself a slutty little corset. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's, it's full steam ahead this week. Um, we're gonna do some side quests. And then, we're gonna, we're gonna go take down a mother crystal, apparently. So, uh, let's go chat to Glenn. You've We've already done these ones, haven't we? Oh no! Oh, we're a bit further back than I realized. Okay. I trust you. We'll do these real quick. We've already sure we've already doesn't. done them, so I can skip through the dialogue. Um, dang it! Sorry. Anyway, this is why. This is why I tried because uh, we were a bit further back, and I had to do the battles around the East East Pole again. But at least it wasn't like it wasn't a total disaster. Um, Anyway, let's run over here, accept this quest. Uh, what was his, what was his issue again? Oh, it was somebody was missing, wasn't it? Alright, yep. yep, 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 gonna get him, gonna get him. Um, Clive posed the right moment there, says Angel B. Yes, he did, he knows his angles. Yep, grand, Randall, done. Absolutely no bother at all. Um, Okay, so we can get we can do these. We'll just get through them super quick, super super quick. Um, anyway, I hope everyone's very well. We had a lovely weekend, ready for ready to face the week again. Um, but until then, we're gonna go Arabelle Downs, um, and yeah, we're we're gonna see. Oh dear. What is it with FF games and saves? To be fair, Nikkei, it wasn't. It wasn't the. It wasn't the game at all. It was the fact that we, because this has happened multiple times. Um, we have two PS5s, and I didn't shut the game down properly the last time we played. I literally just put it into standby and was like, we, um, and sauntered on. So I think it just, yeah, it. it the game thought it was being helpful, uh, when actually it was like no, um, but it's fine. We can we can work with it. We can work with it, absolutely. Um, so let me just pick that up. Run over here. Um, and yeah. There we are. Grab this. Retrieve sack. More of the lost supplies. Yes. And then over here. Got ourselves a weed. Is this where the letter was? I think so. There we go. Retrieve the sack, please. Whoop! Clive, all right, come here. Behave yourself. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter there. The dog has it. We knew the dog has it. Here, tell me that you saw a dog. Quick. I'm working on your weak I like your hat, though. Very chic. Yep, yep, yep. Good, 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 good. And then, because we're being real lazy, there we are. Uh, sorry, Jen. Yeah, you spaced out. Uh, no worries. We're doing this again because I was silly and I didn't power down the PlayStation, and the, and so because uh, Seb was playing his save on the PlayStation downstairs, the auto saves overwrote. Uh, Should have done a hard save. 
Should have definitely done that, but all is not lost because I had a hard save that was not too far behind where we got to, so, you know. Ah, we're just, we're just getting caught up. We're just, uh, we're reminiscing, you know. Ah, remember that time we, those unforgettable moments, we went and looked around a dirty road track for some Sunset dropped letters, and we found it in a dog's mouth. Ah, precious memories. There we go. You know, we're just the heroes of the world, but that doesn't mean we can't stop and help the little folk every now and again find what they lost. I mean, I wouldn't... You know, all, more of the power to Clive, I wouldn't be bending down looking for things in, in those... in this outfit. <laughs> it's just... just asking for something to go wrong there. There's too many buckles. Too many buckles. It seems we have our culprit. Give. I just the attention to detail though Someone's that when he does this. bend down, you hear that leather squeak. He's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. I don't care what anyone says. This game is for the girls' gays and theys. These are facts. Like there's just there's just too much too much attention to to certain details that uh, that I'm I'm like hmm mm hmm I know what you're about. Uh right. Which way are we going here? So we, okay, so we're going down this way, I think. Do we get to witness the woman drying clothes with magic again? Says my cat. Listen, she wants to hasten her own demise. Then that's on her. That's entirely her choice. I just feel like wait for a sunny day. Put the washing out. It'll be dry when it's dry. Y you don't have to put your life on the line, my pal. All right, but nothing like a good buy thirst trap to start the week. Says Codex versus the world, isn't that just the truth? There's just there's there's too 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 many thirst traps in this game. Right, Nikki Sharp, member for 42 months. Uh, hello, if I here still mourning the fact that I didn't get Taylor Swift tickets. No, my friend got in for us and was awaiting payment confirmation when the site timed out and 10 minutes later sold out. No. Oh, that's the worst luck ever. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I hear those are hard to come by. Um, <laughs> Ginger Cryptid. Uh, imagine putting did fully work for buy thirst traps leather trousers on your CV. It's honest work if you can get it. Absolutely. You all right? I mean, speaking of, per Ben Star, last time we were, last time we were streaming... You're one of us. There's him You're giving a lovely nuanced performance play, as Clive, putting heart and soul into, you know, a, a really nuanced performance where you can feel his, like, his anguish, his inner conflict, his turmoil. And then there's all of us going, take your shirt off! <laughs> take Clive. I mean, listen, you know, there's there's worse things you could say. Uh, right. Using this. Once again, surprised? I must once again uh, hear asking you to perish in the name of we met you. Oh no, Nikki, the old baby cried. Listen, hopefully, maybe there'll be some competitions or something you can enter. I mean, there's got to be, someone's got to have tickets. I hope it somehow works out for you. Never say never, eh? There you go. And then... Can you blame us? No, absolutely, I cannot blame us, Megadale. And if anything, you know, I... I I'm saying we can, we can go further, faster, farther next time. <laughs> Cooley Willy is right, I know, you see? Like... Par for the course, though, isn't it? Like, if you will, if you will, do a fantastic job, then we will, we will do what we, what we're gonna with these, with these fantastic uh, characters. All right, come here, you. Listen. Ooh. 
Laura B. I didn't realize he was probably reading those thirst comments in the Ifri fight. Yes, <laughs> sorry, but he probably was. I didn't, but honestly, I was looking. I was looking back at the stream today just to see where we got up to because I was doing, um, you know, I was doing the description for today's stream and stuff. And I, I was missing loads of comments from before. I didn't realize. I don't know why. Like, I feel like they weren't showing or something. Because I was like, oh no, he was chatting away way be long before I thought he was there. Um, and I didn't realize. I feel very rude now. Um, but here, we'll, uh, we'll just, we'll make it up by being really nice to Kawhi. Oh, there we go. Done. And what? Uh, Juki Bobbin says, ah, we've continued where we left off. Hand fans at the ready. It's awfully warm. I'll say. All right. Beastman Slade. Spoiler alert. Randall didn't survive. There we go. Elden Ring, please take note. We want more outfits with capes. No capes. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the right side. Back to Quentin. Let's see. There we go. Jessica says, I love how flashy the fights are. I keep getting into trouble by paying too much attention to trying to get f good photos in photo mode rather than actually fighting. This is what it's all about. I love, I mean, I, I really enjoyed um, going through uh, the hashtag and stuff and seeing some of the art that's been inspired is awesome. And yeah, some of the photos too. I mean, I'm sure they know, like... Don't make a game this gorgeous if you don't want people taking lots and lots of photos and uh, and just just absorbing the world. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened, and I can't help but notice you're alone. He's with us in spirit, maybe, Damn and in pieces I'm on the roadside. It's getting hot in here, so treat yourself to a popsicle. <laughs> it's the EA122. No, we need to we need to come up with a jingle um, to the Final Fantasy, uh, the 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 success, the the theme tune, not the theme tune, the da 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 da. But it has to be along the lines of take off your shirt, because there are so many characters where we're like, yeah, that's that's nice and all, but but come on. Like Sid as well, Thunder Daddy, of course. Um, right, so we're going back to the hideaway. And then I think then I think we might be up to speed. Uh, TPS2 says, Rosie from PS Access, after an emotional, well-performed scene, com commented on Clive doing a good sip on whatever he was drinking rather than the performance, so I think Ben already got the worst. I'm sure by now he knows, like, the... the we're all we're all Not awful <laughs> in varying varying ways. Um oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Wanted to send a message. Nilo says thanks for distracting me today in the past sure week. I'm awaiting a call from the hospital this afternoon. They're at, at the moment deciding if I can medically and legally transition. Oh well, we are absolutely fingers there and toes, are. everything crossed for you, Neil. I hope that you get I hope that you get um, me yet. You get the go ahead, oh, absolutely. I suppose you um found the things you dropped. And I'm sorry that I it's did. been it's been a, a rough week. We will do I'm all of so the distracting sure be today. Gone. And the letter? Only a little. There you go, there's your lost letter. Take off your shirt, the strap, and show us the goods. <laughs> it's like, it kinda works. No more skulking. We did your chores, no did you no wait. Da, 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 da. We need more. There needs to be more syllables. Is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter, letter. Is it about curse breaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. Med. She's off studying, and you never know. Oh, so I'd say. All right. There we go. <laughs> is there anything you're wanting from Sid? No, it's more than it nine syllables. Da, 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 da. Oh no. Nope. Absolutely shut me up. You're absolutely right, Jen. Right, so... Speak with Karen. Goods! Um, yeah. Hello, it's me. 
So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... You know what? You don't want to know. Never mind. Let's have some of these. Can't find a better price than some that. of these. One of them. Rubbing me blind, one of, you know. Wait, two of them. Better Honestly, you, I yeah. never once used Lionheart Tonic. I feel like it's really, really not necessary. Like, it, your limit break gauge fills so fast anyway. I don't see why you would, why you would need it at all. Um, right out. <laughs> Some great jingles are happening in the chat now. Uh, we're so thirsty and we got to see that. I, da, 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 da. Time to make an Auriflam in Auriflam. Omniflam in Auriflam. Speaking of Auriflam. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. Is he? If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing. <sighs> Just go and see Otto, will you? Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thingy Karen just has the entire energy of a granny who like will cuss you out, but then like just just slip you, you know, money under the table when your when your parents aren't looking. Like just absolutely spoils you, but but wants you to but wants to be real about it. Do do. I believe you will find most. Yes, I think we're. I think we're caught up now. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Please. You are always welcome, Clive. Oh, his voice is so wonderful. Um. So. Clive, was it? Yes. It me. Um. So I think we just need to speak to Otto. There's no other. No other quests just yet asking for us, so. so you really oh yeah, this is the Alliant Reports. She's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known. Shirts in this game are oh, so optional. <laughs> yes, Talk. that might be the one. He's convinced us <laughs> the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Oh. Seems the eye in the Royalist gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. Oh. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. <laughs> All as the great still. Captain Crembo is so with a on point with this. Karen, in IRL, Karen far. would be called Bernadette Lucky and run the local you. chippy with an iron fist, but always give the skinny stuff. kids off the estate extra chips. This. Yes, this is... Well, no, that is so that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> an explanation. It's even more perfect that like the best chippies in Derry are, br are called Brighties. Not quite Bernadette, but close enough. Sweet Daddy Sid and Clive, please just kiss. <laughs> oh, excellent. Wait, where's... Where's, where's, where's... Have I missed a good one? I'm looking, I'm looking out for, I'm looking out for more, but wait, Alliant reports, gotcha. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Now to find Mr. Gavin. Okay. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Go that's to me. your service. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports. Set and let's know. Anyway. Yep, yep. But let's hear about Maybe. you. Way I see it. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say? Sure. Quick look. Yes. Welcoming committee. Dying on the vine. While the cat's away. Always something in there. Do you need there sure help? is. To our friends. No. I heard Otto. So we're gonna do these. We're gonna do the. the no, we're definitely caught up. We're gonna do these V side quests first. So let's. Over here, Martha's Rest, fast travel there. <laughs> is it Gavin or is it 
Gavolfus <laughs> says Night Cat. That's true. We never hear that Gav is actually short for Gavin, and it probably isn't. Um, here we go. Do, do, do. Hey, Dragon Bother. Sure Late, but I have a bacon steps. sandwich. This so swings and roundabouts. Mm -hmm. I haven't had I haven't had lunch yet. I'm I'm quite hungry. Oh, hello. I was looking for you. What are you doing there, hiding? I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the golden stables. They're waving their swords around. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I will deal with these All bandits. Right. Oh, thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. That's fair. You looked a nasty bunch, though. It's like, I wasn't doing maths. I was running for my life. Uh, well, we don't need to prioritize. That's fine. Let's just go in here. See what's what. Hello, hello. Ha! Golden stables, my ass. Ass. All hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you? Of? You are welcome to try. Uninvited guest. Get that pull out of the way so we can see you perish. There we go. Done. Easy. Not a bother. Come and claim it. If you want it, come and claim it. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There we go. Oh, there's there yourself. He is. The hero of the golden stables. Who, me? People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. <laughs> It'd be a quite a flammable place, place, this, really. Here, of course. But you weren't. Just booze fumes all soaked into the beans, the as Nightcat says. The blood axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the blood axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. Give me stuff. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got Why work wait? to do for Give me this no. place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. I, you know, I reckon, I reckon they would mop up if you handed, if you handed them some cleaning supplies. I reckon they'd get stuck in. All right, so long. Who uh, me? Little old me, a hero. Yeah, I guess. Let's go over to. Lost wing. All right, let's travel here. <laughs> a tasty mug, eh? Thirst. Oh, the thirst channel. The thirst comments are creeping back in. All right, let's see. Elaine. Ah, oh, your Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Sure am. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It uh, depends. What do you need? Some new bearers Fair. from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. Oh, Can't gosh. get a peep out of them, try as I might. Messed up. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Obviously, yes. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sid's man does make it sound like they're dating. Oh, if only. If only. Like, Clive and Jill, cute and all. Clive and Sid is the real connoisseur's choice for OTP. So you're the new arrivals. 
Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people <laughs> like us. Why not both? Our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. Wait here. All right. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. <laughs> it's so true, uh, Captain Crumbo. Like, the seal thing is hilarious to me. The fact that, like, people are just piling pins on Clive the entire game. By the end, he must just look like just just covered in uh, in badges. Uh, oh, it is dark in here. There we go. And now I have another cup, Daddy. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. <laughs> so Discerning, I see. Enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. Have you it's seen me? me? It's for some new arrivals. Have you, have you, see, are you, you would deny me? Have you oh, heard of pretty privilege? <laughs> have you heard of pretty privilege? So <laughs> Clearly not. In that case, you may have whatever pretty you a privilege, ma'am. Look it up. You want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands. Oh yeah. Do we all. Fine. The badge. Quinton That's why you're doing it. Guests, sure. Be left wanting. Well. All right, give me your bread, bread and wine. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. I could murder some bread and wine right now. <laughs> I would love to see him with one of those scout badge sashes for all the pins. Don't tell me. Turn him aside. Brother, did you see? There we go. Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. While the loaf is slightly stale and the wine somewhat watered down, it will serve to fill an empty belly. Oh, that's rubbish. These guys need they need something nicer. Also watered down wine? What? What are y'all what are y'all up to around here? Stale bread. Come on now. Yes, Ananthe is right. There should be cheese as well. I feel like anyway, the very least. Truly. Dry-ass bread. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like we sat and no one shouted. We... I know. You're free now. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. There we go. I mean, also, like, watering down the wine, have you seen, they've got an entire- they've got huge vineyards. What happens to us now? Like, brother? come on. Nothing bad. You can do better. Uh, right, so we're headed... This way. Thing is, if the bread was stale, it wouldn't be crispy crunchy would it it would be really like chewy oh i know master quinton will never yeah, look, forgive me if tons i tons of bloody wine down here stingy stingy emil what are you up to i i, I want no trouble that remains to be seen wait wait that's Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. But if you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve I do indeed. Well, then you I've better so you better start making better wine, wine then, if it's pride help. and joy. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please. Right. Can't even see to your own wasps. Right. Come on then. Uh, can we? Not really. Oh, uh, let's. Come on now. Let's be lazy. Let's be lazy. 
The more wine they drink, the less they can sell. I suppose that's true. However, they could spare a bottle for, you know, people, bearers arriving who are exhausted, who've never known, like, wine ever, art. and have never had, this is their first taste of freedom, shovel. literally. All right. Especially if it's like, you know, if they're looking to inspire loyalty in newcomers and stuff. It's important. Good first impression and all that. Slay, slay. It's over. As if Dawn sent me here to kill like four wasps. Big can oh no, okay, it's a wee bit more than four, but still, big can of bug spray would have would have sorted this out. Okay, where's where's you? Come here, now. Come back here. Caught in the gravity of my uh my talent here. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Vint what are Vint Vintner was. Maybe they're they're just drunk all the time. Just drinking fermented grapes. Whee! Enemy slain. In this universe, you are the bug the bug spray. <laughs> uh alright. Like there we go. The Back we go. And then we're on to Northreach. We're on to see, uh, to get closer to the capital. Which I'm sure is going to go really well. No hiccups whatsoever. Very straightforward. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing? Gossip. The scandal. Scandal. Do, 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 do. Hello, I've done your job for you. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the... Give. Our goat and rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. Something's not adding up here. Were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> uh, oh, so you're, that's nice of you. Instead of giving me the glass, you're gonna drink it and say, hey, here's to you, old buddy, old pal. I tell you what, that's the cheek of it. Hey Charlotte, uh, I won't be staying as I'm trying to stay spoiler free as I play, but have fun. Are you enjoying it so far? Yes, indeed. I like, so I've said before, I've, I've already finished the game because um, I was playing it for review, but yes, it is no secret. I think that I, I very much enjoyed it um, and I'm enjoying it uh, very much on a second playthrough as well because uh, I can just, you know, can just thirst a little bit more with you guys this time round. Right out, Gav. It's time. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Well, just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Yeah. Was that? <laughs> Was that? Is that? Are we? Fine day for a little mischief. Jeez. What you say? That was, Is listen, that was extremely, extremely, Actually, God, extremely coded conversation there. Just the three of us. I'm, I'm just saying. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sorry, Gav. Sorry about that. it. I don't know if I can. Ifrit still seems to come and go as he pleases. 
Ordinarily, prime an icon comes naturally to a dominance. Jeez. But then you are no ordinary dominance. Definitely a part well, of Well, he still got the what? blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosalia? Who, me? You know, little old me? He a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Jeez. Let's try not to find out. Flattery will get you everywhere, sir. Less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. <laughs> you behave now. Never. If he said that to me, I would simply expire on the spot. That's I would ju I would simply die. <laughs> That's <laughs> and the thirst begins. All right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, just making sure there's no. No, we're good. All right, we're headed. We're headed to Lost Wing. Here we go. Hehehe. <laughs> we're looking for a button where we can where we can kiss everybody. Uh. David says so, no ordinary dom could be a profile in an app. Reach. Just saying. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Jeez. Okie dokie. Oh gosh, we're going. Wait. Dragon's eerie. So we're headed to Clairview. So we could just go. Why is this? Why did it tell me to? Am I supposed to go this way? I suppose, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go the scenic route. Why not? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been sleeping? Uh, so I would be going through here. Is it? Am I going through here? No. No. Back out, back out, back out, back out. <laughs> wait, wait, and then we're, oh, so we're going up on the bridge. Okay, fine. That's grand. Head this way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Jill doesn't have a lot of lines, does she? That or she fully supports all these bromances. No, she doesn't, I have to agree. She doesn't, she's she's quite quiet for a lot of key scenes. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just that's that's just more room for for the as you say the bromances to grow. Um, there we are. So, <laughs> Lord Phoenix, hello. What's going on in here? Oh, everyone is thirsty. Us? Never. Listen. Yeah, Lord, uh, this town is quite confusing. I think the layout is like it's a bit it's a bit. Uh, I'm just like I always get lost when we go to Lost Wing. Apropos, I would say. Stupid spiders. Ooh, that sounded nasty. The wood is so pretty, though. Uh, Arachne, over there. Dragon Avis. Come on, you. Denied. Am I too late to do Deadly Embrace? I think so. Ooh, gosh, I got real I got real air on that. Ow. This time. There we go. Okay. Seems like everyone's like finishing the game for the first time uh, around now, which is fun. Um, it's good to be able to, to talk a bit more freely uh, about spoilers and stuff. Obviously not here because we're playing through it, but on social media and that, I do enjoy seeing everyone's take on the, on key scenes, on certain uh, character reveals, stuff like that. And 
Dragon Avis. Dragon have this. Are you Absolutely not. not this time. Perish. Okay. Now where the heck are where the heck are we? This looks like a clearing the fight of boss if I ever saw one. What's that? Well, not yet, I guess. The old road. And onward, we'll just head on up. Move on up. E this way. And Valley Matter. I don't know what that is. I haven't bothered to look in the items. I'm sure it would take all of 30 seconds to find out. But to me, it sounds like a type of cheese. Nice. You know, like Valley Matter, extra mature. Um, but, but good lord if you don't have a lot of it by the end of the game. I don't know what it's for. I don't know why I need it, but holy crap. I, I think by the end of the game I kind of stopped going out of my way to pick up the, um, you know, the little sparkly bits that you see on the map because well, it's either Valley Matter or Two Gill and either way it's like, I, I don't think I need this. Put it on the pile with all the other stuff, I guess. There. North Reach. North Reach. There she is. There's Oriflam. Looking very fancy. Um no then. Are we all talking about our first Final Fantasy in the chat? That's fun. Look, I didn't mean to, I wasn't I wasn't looking, I was reading the chat. You just go on about your day, please. Um because that's a fun conversation, if so. Uh people talking about the, the, the Final Fantasy that got them into Final Fantasy. Um which is it's always fascinating to learn the different entry points because they're all they are all so different and that's why everyone has a different idea of what makes a Final Fantasy game I guess um, I'm so like honestly though I'm so bored of conversations that are like this isn't real Final Fantasy like stop like for, you know if you want to make if you want to have that discussion say to me or for me um, used but to like speak of a brothel. Because there are, fi yeah, the, there are Final Fantasy point. games I didn't particularly enjoy because, uh, you know, they didn't feel like, Final, I guess, fun experiences for me. But that doesn't mean they're not Final Fantasy, of course. But, um, what did you say was in these but this again? to me is very much Final Fantasy. Um, I guess, I don't know what, what makes it a Final Fantasy. Really intriguing story. Really fun characters. Um... Hello. Uh, fun combat, summons, magic, course chocobos. That is a look. A moment, my lady. Oh my. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded trees. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did. <laughs> Sid just got you bodied. Could please me. Clive. Oh my. No You're dame. the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. We? Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. Lucky lady. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, 
I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. So here's the thing I really like Isabel as a character. Obstacle between you like and whatever smart, it is you see sexy in the holy like, capital. Just very cool, calm and collected. I fear the guards I are not likely to have a masterless I hate it. Of it does not give what it needs to give. Unless I like the colors. Unless. <laughs> but that Unless, that's not of course. His master like, what is this? to appear. Oh, yes. That will do nicely. Dead instantly. But I, I shall expect faint. a favor in return. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? He's like, oh god. Someone else, someone else falling in love with me. Yeah, no, I love, I love Isabelle's character, love the dame. That dress is not, not dame worthy. The, yes, thank you, the blue ruffles, no. And also just, it's just the, 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 like, stitching around, around the bodice. It's, it's, it's giving cheap. It's not like, she is, she is the dame. She is like the proprietress of a very, um, successful business. She is like, she's, you know, self-made entrepreneur, businesswoman, whatever. She would not be wearing a dress of that, like, like that cheap sort of, oh wait. Hold on, let's see. Sell, sell all valuable just please. And a fine, fine day to you. Oh, thank you. Fine day to you. Um, I don't know. And them shoes? Don't get me started on those shoes. She needs a... Oh, a high collar would be good, actually. Um, yes, and the, I, I agree. I like the colours, not the style. Like, the ruffles? Mm-mm. And that sort of weird... The weird, like, slit at the front, but then extra material underneath it. I'm just like... It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Like, there's nothing good about this at all. Mm -mm. Take the color scheme, make it... Uh, the armlets are the one thing that I'd be like, we can maybe work with that. Um, but yes, let's see. All right, just chat to you then. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded... Stop, uh, just, just give this. him a wee slap. No Step on him a little bit. You are. I don't know. That's just a suggestion. It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. <laughs> what a sassy Maybe. guard. Imagine wearing a full suit of armor and still managing to have your hand on your hip. Just pop that hip a little bit. You, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. And we're off. Boy, hold up. Yes. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Sorry, you couldn't tell I was branded from, from six foot away, but then all of a sudden from five foot away, you were like, whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. Hey, thank they you, DCC0209. Has gifted they didn't. Uh, and even if Angelic they had, Witch. They wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. An arrangement as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. It will forever be. A sadness. Doesn't to seem me. like I have much of a choice. No, you definitely don't. That they don't go inside the veil. Just, just, just go, like even to the lobby. I want to see. I want to see inside it. I want to see because you know it's going to be far more interesting than than 
all of this. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired. All of their dresses are hideous. <laughs> They're just... It screams... And if anyone requests her Not designed company, by a woman. Tell them she is feeling unwell. Or someone who wears dresses. Like, it's just... The, the lack of style. You look stunning. Mm. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? Oh my. That won't be necessary. Come on, Clive, they won't bite. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. And that's all you get. That, that there. It's like, mm, that wasn't quite the moment that I think you, you were expecting. Hello. Okay, just have to check. Have to check for site. I mean, ugh, ugh, God. No, you deserve so much better. You deserve so much better than this mass of ruffles. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, like, that was the whole point, Clive is way more snatched than all of you. these ladies. It's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. All business. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. They yes. are physically painting me. They are. to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. Oh, no, you've done well in all the quests we've had best. so far. Oh, and take this. It just, that material screams, it doesn't wash well either. Like it's kind of, oh, we've got another seal. Hooray! Hope for that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Will do. It, I think it's because the dress kind of reminds me of like, you know, doing, um, local pantomimes or amateur uh, yeah. amdram like theater and stuff where all of the all of the costumes are all racked backstage after each performance and they're never washed and it's just giving that kind of like really cheap uh kind of satiny polyester blend that that just is is not good <laughs> it's not like not good to not wash um all right. Uh, so we've got some side quests. Excuse no, me. You there? The gentleman with the sword? Yes, he is. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. Hey, Kaylee Westney. So member for 39 months. Magnificent member. Yay. associate of the dames. Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. Mm. I know exactly what I'd be assisting. Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne. A humble merchant. I have business beyond these walls, but mm -hmm. the girl, who better than would you be? I mean, sure, I've got some time. A Poptimon says, uh, "Do I have a favorite side character, and have they appeared in this playthrough yet?" Honestly, I think there's so many good side characters in this Why game, not? but my favorite ones, um, I think, mostly have not appeared yet. The task is simple enough: pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... Nothing dangerous, I hope. Well, that Why, all depends on your point not. of view. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And I believe you thousands wouldn't. You from strong. Okie dokie. Seems easy enough. Three heavy purses. The markets are a veritable middle. 
and then we'll go down here into the garrison and go over here oh, oh, got it in for us too as if either of us <laughs> now Clive is a drug mule <laughs> this well, is all officer branded don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers well you lost or something sorry but the imperial guard's got no use for your kind the infantry always needs more it's just so funny because you're like I would I'm I would destroy you in seconds I don't bloody believe it Maybe. the bastard's wearing the moon and stars <laughs> that'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place the dame laughed when we offered her our protection you reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the emperor's finest <laughs> I dare say those ways, ways of finding out, out. Whoa, oh, I'd rather not. I would absolutely now. fuck you up, and Only I will. Chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Oi, oi. Obviously, I'm gonna. Obviously, I'm gonna destroy you. But that this Fine. was all on you. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, <laughs> I won't be holding back. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. We shall see. <laughs> Dan says, legit felt bad using magic in this fight. I would too, except, but they were putting it on so bloody thick that it's like, surprise. And also, they knew you were branded, so. Let's get the measure of you, shall we? I mean, they should have seen that coming, really. Why, yes, I shall draw my blade. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. All right. Let's see if you can get a single touch on me before I completely destroy you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Sure. Sure. Use all the dirty tricks you There you go. He gives you, he gives you like the he gives you permission to use dirty oh, tricks. No. So, you know. I mean, you know. <laughs> Anyhow, didn't even break a sweat. Leon! Fuck me. I mean, what the hell are you playing at, Leon? That's a whole other ball game, Leon. Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. <laughs> Should have seen that coming, everybody. Let's have some fun, shall we? If you say so. Come on. Come on. By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. Sassy. He's sassy. Giving him, giving him a little bit of lip there. He says face down in the dirt. <laughs> So anyway, I says to him, I says, look, if you're gonna give it all this, have you you have to back it up. You have to, you know, you can't be you can't be talking the talk and then embarrassing now? yourself. <laughs> Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. Mm. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. Did they even did they it. even get a chance to to yeah, try and hit me? I don't think they did. <sighs> At least we know the dames in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. Do us a favour. Tell the dame about this. Tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Uh, no, never. Not even. It wasn't even. It was brutal. Not even close, guys. It's embarrassing. More meteorite, thank god. I yeah, thought we were running low for a second. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Best boy. Um, so now there's one more up here. Here we go. Hello, hello. Yeah. They don't really... They never really explain very much about Grieger, but you do... You do 
get bits of um, context on her um, as the story goes on, and it, it does make that sentence what? Uh, interesting. About this. About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, is that the first time someone said Grieger's Cash? Because everyone seems quite. <laughs> so anyway, I started slashing, says Codex. <laughs> All right. This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, not for the want of coin. So contemptible though it is, my countrymen mm -hmm. would sooner cut off their. And despite my best attempt, which brings me to my request. Mm -hmm. Fine. Oh, thank you. An extra meal delivering like lunch we're here. basically a delivery driver and we're gonna give some people some lovely lunches what food I can provide goes where the need is greatest three bearers overworked and underfed it's no wonder so many die before their time Jeez. tragic true but do not let anger make you careless be discreet for both our sakes you won't okay, be staying okay. then I'm afraid not all right, let's give some people some delicious food. Maybe it's better than stale bread and watered down wine. I, I certainly hope so. Enough. We can't let people starve as well. So, someone over here. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Oh dear, Dick. Looks like now's not the time. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Uh, over here. Got someone drying laundry. See, it's a bit more understandable when they're being forced to do it. But there's there's a little bit of wind, look. Not that much, obviously. You look like you need a rest. Comstables. Food prepared by Math Mathau. For three overworked and underfed bears employed in North Reach's garrison. So it doesn't say what food it is, but comstables is such a fun word for it. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. Mr. Clive, that's my name. That, that name again Nor is Mr. Clive. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. There you go. Um, so, Codex says, have there been any Scottish accents yet? I don't think so. I don't reckon there has been. There's been one Irish accent. Uh, oh, good boy. I think it was like a, well, it was certainly a Republican accent, but um, Southern, Southern Irish accent, but I don't know that there's been... There's definitely not been any Northern Irish accents, but hey. If any games have any need, I can certainly give it a try. Um, let's see. There's certainly a lack, a lack of... Lack of Irish accents in games. I, I reckon. I reckon, you know, we could always put some more in there. Um, who's... Oh, where's our... Oh, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Would you like some comstables, mistreated bearer? I have something for you. I mean, so so a leather-clad stranger comes up to you and just says that. Uh, and you'd be like, pardon? And then they just hand over some comstables. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. I certainly would. That wouldn't be the first thing. The, you need yeah. to leave. Oh, jeez. Now, please. Branded, who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames. Stow those damn flames. And you, if you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. People are awful in this world. All right. So, we've got... So it's just Dawn in the training field. I don't know how we can... can't remember how we can get uh, a guy to piss off. Do we have to, like, create some sort of distraction or something? Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Okay. Dark. 
Perhaps you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Jeez. Well. With a face like that, is it any wonder yeah. that he's a bit, a Looks bit like ornery? There you go. The Chamberlain must have sent you. Sure did. Alas, my work is far from over. Oh gosh. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. He looks a bit tired. I need to rest. Yes, I'm, how's he going to do that? I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's all my hunger. What I'm not sure the game makes clear is... Thank you. Do, uh, are bearers born and they have a specific magic ability? Or do they all have the all magic abilities? So, for example... Bearers. Do you have like fire bearers? Do you have healer bearers? And do you have arrow bearers? Or can they all be employed to do all of those tasks? Um, that is, I'm not sure that you ever get the answer to that, but I might have just missed it. But it is, um, is an interesting one, like. Because the crystals, I assume the crystals can maybe do everything because, you know, people um, have their crystal in a little holder and you can see them using it to uh, top up someone's drink, for example, or... Um, All right. Are you here for business <laughs> or pleasure? That dress is business, hideous. Though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little mm -hmm. too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain. There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a <sighs> generous uncle. Generous uncle? No, he no, no. one of the only people no, no. around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Norfolk's starving masses. That's nice. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't, don't call him an uncle. Much. Glad to hear it. That's nice, though. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him, and you, for that matter. Who me? No so wonder the dame's got a soft spot. Who for me? <laughs> I. Better be going. I love that he gets awkward at like even the vaguest sign of someone flirting with him, and yet everyone's flirting with him. <laughs> it's great. It's like he's like, oh god, I, I I I need to be I need to be off. It's like one of my favorite, I guess, fantasy uh like tropes is characters who like are uncomfortable with everyone thinking they're hot. <laughs> it's great. Um, right, so. She's ready to be chatted to. However, we've got um, we've got to deliver some packages first. We've got to return some videotapes. Um, so Laura says, my guess is all magic types. Some of the descriptions of the magic is pulling magic from the environment. Yeah, that's true. Um, apart from healers, it seems unlikely they'd feed and house a bear for just one job. Ah, that's very true, actually. Okay. A plum! Hello. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. <laughs> All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. Jeez. Every ounce and joints, a jo joint, is that a word? Every joints and jostle of this unexceptional leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic tinkling that is likely best ignored. What's a joints? It just so Clive takes it from his jorts, and it, jo it joints his and jostles. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink, the very best, mm. specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Etienne likes it. Tell All right. Where that came from, for a price. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um. 
Uh, Lafay or Ray? Um, oh no, been low for a bit, but EG keeps my days bright. Thank you. Oh, well, I hope you feel better soon. Um, sorry to hear you've been low, but we're here to hopefully raise your spirits with some, with some, by thirst trap. <laughs> Kiwi Kratos is so right. Cloud in uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake takes the crown for being head on awkwardly the most. It's so hilarious. That's why I love Jesse so much in that game. She makes him feel so awkward. And yet he can't help but smile. And that's why it's so adorable. I have no business with Brand. Ah, but you do. Well, I have business with you. A package fresh from the master's table. I do not know. Where is the merchant, Etienne? He's Somewhere around. the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Your attitude will get you nowhere. Nowhere at all. This is lighter than usual. <gasps> Branded, if I discover you have played me false... You'll do what? I can always take it back. Yeah. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. You should try. In the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it. Really lay this part on thick, don't they? It's like branded. Absolutely, the like people just Those love love that old prejudice. More than your life. Do be careful. Do. Hello. You say these are all from There's nothing here for your kind branded. Go on now. Shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want your your beaded necklaces from, Fresh from the primary table. sex uh, arts and crafts. I'm sure you've got to get back to selling those for about 20p a piece. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Seriously, that's Sorry way too way too many of those Make cheap looking necklaces. Quiet. You wait right here. Well, at least he's a bit nicer. <laughs> yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Yeah. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. <laughs> the Shara says Clive is such a lovely himbo. Does it no this is okay, so this is a question. Does Clive classify as a himbo? Because to maintain them. The beef, yes. Only one way to the, find out. the niceness, yes. But I don't think he's dumb enough to be a himbo. I don't know. Sometimes he is. Like, he's kind of just, like, he's dutering on being a drug mule right now. <laughs> asking too many questions. But, like, he's a he's a bit too generally, like, um, yeah, switched on to be a himbo. I think himbo's just kind of, like, float through life, mostly. Just, just happy to be there. And Clive's just had it. Maybe he's just had a bit too much of a hard time. Um, I haven't I'm not seen sure. The question. He certainly dressed like a hembo. Let's be honest, but ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Bootleg Gucci seller, says <laughs> Dimitri. Oh, so okay. After the leaves of the tabac plant are harvested, they are dried and cured for several moons to improve their flavor before being finely chopped and rolled inside a single uncut leaf. Though no other, no other ingredients are added, the resulting cigars are possessed of the distinct aromas of vanilla, cherry, and clove. Oh. Oh, I hate the smell of cigar smoke. It is said that the petals of 20 roses are required to distill a single drop of the fragrant rose oil. I love that they wrote like an entire paragraph on not only what this cigar smells like, but the, the whole process of how it's made. Then for the for the, <laughs> the perfume, they're like, I don't fucking know. Roses, there you go. <laughs> and brandy wine, the potent spirit made by distilling wine and then aging in barrels for several decades. As such, it remains a luxury even for the aristocracy. Buckleberry fer fairy, follow me. Right, there we go. Done. Etienne's having a great evening. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. 
And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? <gasps> you mean the crystals? No need to be coy, crystals. my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. <laughs> I couldn't risk you Etienne stumbling certainly under the gaze of the himbo. guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give mm -hmm. their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crown. Doing well for yourself, trading. aren't you, Etienne? I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Mm -hmm. Hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? Mm, a little I bit. think you're doing what you believe is yes. necessary. Yeah. Indeed. A reward for a job well done. Thanks. Give. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme stuff. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when Nice. Uh, Hollis says, Clive the emo hembo. Yes, very, very true. Um, <laughs> Jessica says, he's no Leon in the hembo department. He's more of a sub. <laughs> I don't, oh, so there's a question. Is he, but is he baby girl like Leon was? Or is he, is he, but I do like, uh, I do like Anthea's uh, description of Clive is more of a grumpy cat. He looks broody and serious, but is a sweetheart. That is very true also. I think he'd probably like, because of Torgal and all, he'd probably like to see himself as more of a lone wolf. Uh, so evil. But yes, Grumpy Cat is like, totally get that vibe. That is like, just very, very sweet, actually. Uh, under it all. Um, and that, I think, yes, I think we've done all of the side quests. So let's go see... La Dame. Or, well, this gal. Whose dress is, if possible, even worse. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. Where are these brooches? A woman by the name of Tatienne. <laughs> I just. I just want. I want oh, all of them. I just right here. Her. You saw her before she like, disappeared. Like you, you hear Clive the before you see him because he's jingling. Was in all these badges. She'd lost her comb. Oh. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Mm -hmm. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, <laughs> sitting by the pond. Thank you. Angel, who's an edgy boy? Let's see what her chambermate Excellent. can tell us then. Her chambermaid. There we go. She's probably seen some things. And another hideous dress. Awesome. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. <laughs> You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Jeez. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you? Before. Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She didn't mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. You do? Mm hmm. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Oh, dear. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Oh, dear. Tatienne was flattered at first. But it didn't take long for her to get scared. Mm. She thought about saying something. The dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. So sod's got a scar over one. Creep. Eye. Ban him. Claims he got it in battle. Ban him from the premises forever. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. We will, I'm sure, be delivering a the swift justice to this guy. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Alrighty. Lefaro says, John O'Connell from The Mummy is the ideal himbo. Walking corpse? His only question is, how do I kill it? He lets Evelyn do the smart stuff. Oh, The Mummy. What a fantastic film. Is it, is it 
possibly one of like a perfect film. I think it might be. Need a little something to remember them by. Jeez. I mean, like you've got you've just got all your bases covered. Lovely himbo. Sexy uh sexy leading lady who who gets shit done. Um I heard the bones fell favorably. Then you've got like to the veil, then. sexy semi uh antagonist lady. You've got <laughs> I'm seeing a theme here. Sexy tattooed guy who like arrives to save the day on a horse that two gil was so not worth stepping outside the into the royal meadows for um let's see um garrison soldier are you the one of the ones i beat up a i feel like you are yes looking for a man does this look like a brothel branded <laughs> fuck off wow your tongue he wears the dame's brooch. You should remember this. And the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Y y Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. <laughs> and your bar. village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. I'm off out. I'm headed. I'm headed away. Going on an adventure. May not be back. Up we go. There seems to be more soldiers in this town than citizens. But I suppose that's kind of what it's been founded on, isn't it? Hello. Clive. Tell me you bear good tidings. Well. That remains to be seen. Fade out while I explain, bring you up to speed. So I don't need to repeat myself. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling hmm. to Moor to ascertain the truth? Yes. Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Oh, they're a bunch You'll of bigots. They have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. Well, they can... There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. Amazing. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I the find The dame something. opens doors. Knows everybody. Uh, right, so we're headed out of town. And, uh, hello. Greetings. You are one of the dame's chosen, I see. Yes, look at your tiny little mm -hmm. lid. What is that? I am but a nameless weaver of song. It's so small. You warm the hearts of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit Why me Why is make. it so small, though? Go on, sing us a song. No, I'm just gonna strum. Okay. Okay, off we go. Uh, Jessica says, The most himboiest himbo I've ever seen, and my personal favorite, is Kes Kesuga Ichiman from Yaku Yakuza Like a Dragon. That man is beefy as hell, dumb as a bag of rocks, and kinder than he has any right to be. It's the, it's the trifecta. Ooh, that music is so ominous. But I love it. I love a good himbo. Himbos are just wonderful characters. Look at, what's, what, what, are, they, what, are, you, what are you guys after? Oriflam. Oriflam. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? It's quite large. This this is a huge big open area though. That's a a large bird. There we go. Got some guys over there. Got a big castle up here. Do some exploring area. Ooh, that frame rate. Who's doesn't like like those birds. Uh, Rebel without a clue says a couple of the side quests in this area really shocked and angered me. Agreed. 
um, I dare say that's kind of what they had in mind. They were really building um, that sentiment the closer you got to the capital. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot, actually, in very quick succession. You're like, this is pretty awful. People are pretty, pretty awful around these parts. It's quite, uh, yeah, shocking, I guess, is, is totally right. <laughs> I dare you. I absolute dare. Anyway, you were you were saying, sir. Oh, oh, I know you didn't just fl flame me. You will think twice about that, sir. There we go, and you, and you'll have some as well. It's over. Oh. I'm sorry, did you just... Did you just... <laughs> go, and... There we go. All right. Anyway, as we were saying, let me just have this here. Demon Tamer's Sash. What's the reckoning that that is actually useful to us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's slightly better. Go on then. Um, so we can't go into this tower. It's purely for decoration. Uh... Let's see, do we want to look over there? There's not much we can do over there just yet. I think I'm going to continue on this way. Enjoy the... What? Who? Why? Oh, These aren't worth my time! Then why are they vultures but they sound like seagulls? But look like flying peacocks. Where are you? Come here. Anyway, anyhow, four gil, thank goodness. Wow. Um, don't think there's much over at the windmill just yet. Thing is, these side quests that we're about to do will take us to most of these locations anyway, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take you around everywhere twice, because that would just be. We've only got limited time, so. Ooh, corn. We're frolicking through a field of wheat. Oh dear. Okay. So yeah, this this side quest is is one of the the real awful ones. Um, let's check in. See how these awful you people are doing. Here now. Here now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Clive, you're embarrassing us in front of the big racist. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Boy? Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. Oh, and he asks so nicely. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. Hmm. Um, oh, a sash for all of Clive's pins? That's a good point, yes. Now he has something to put them all on. Um, Lefera, uh Rue says, Would I recommend 15 to someone who hasn't played an FF game ever or in a long time? Um, 15. 15 is good for a, a, a decent chunk of it. Um, but it all just falls apart Something's quite quickly. Right I would honestly recommend 16 way more than careful. 15. Um... Like, I think, I think that 16, it's absolutely fine if, if you've never played a Final Fantasy game before. Um, 15, like, uh, there are parts of it I really, really enjoyed, like, um, hello. Uh, but it just, it's, it, it lo loses, I mean, maybe it's better knowing that I haven't actually, like, touched it since they released all the DLC, and apparently it's a much more complete game than it was when it was released. Um, so it maybe it would be worth going back to, but if I was recommending one, I would recommend 16 over 15 for sure. Um, Alright, we murdered the dog. No! You weren't supposed to 
just you, Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. Yeah, but his father You're is also supposed to talk. <gasps> Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? You little shit. Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Father, what am I making it on my own? Wow. Wow. The wolf's work, no doubt. Mm -mm. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. No, it's those shitty people. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Yeah, you're so right, Jessica. Joffrey energy for sure. All right, let's get back there. Is it okay to punch a child in a video game? I think I, th I, th I think when when they're awful people like this. I mean, I would punch the parent first, um, and if and you know then if you're still if you're still feeling like a little bit of vengeance, then you know fill your boots. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. <laughs> that wolf was trained. Trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. Oh my god, you I would I I would have slapped this guy by now if I was Clive. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. It's not I don't right. Like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive Pick up the me? dad and hit the boy well, with him. The sins of the slave are the sins no. of the master. Pick up the boy and hit the dad no. with him, yeah. Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Now that's using the old noodle. Let's not get the rant dame in trouble. Let's just... That rat, where are we? We are we answer to nobody, so you can go get fucked. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one, and I take orders from no one. So I can slap you if Lies. I want to. Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. <laughs> Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear. And pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember. He's too far gone, Clive. You can't reason with these guys. Things. They're absolutely terrible. Oh, he's scaring me. Good. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? How dare you? A bigger one, a better one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. As if Clive just walks away. Come on, Nud. I'm wasting my time. Well, yes. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. Mm. All right. How many dark. bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Very dark. <laughs> Curly Willy. Ugh, Tories. Such Tory energy. Oh my goodness. Bury the bodies. Oh god, they look really young as well. Mm. All victims of the nobles' games. Hear you? You must be Clive. Who are you? How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier. Burying the dead. Mm. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here. Can if you she knows this is going on, why can't she... Why can't she, like... Let's put them to rest. Stop the guy from murdering people? Surely there's more that you can do than just be the cleanup service afterwards? It's a nice spot to bury them at least, at the very least. It's so pretty. 
May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more mm. bearers will die. Mm -hmm. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Because they're awful. Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still. Such Insightful for some, from someone who uh, has made Fred from Scooby-Doo their fashion icon. kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? I wonder. The realm's less two murderous bastards and I won't mourn the loss. Yeah. For their help. <laughs> the game's just like, yeah, and one of them was a kid. Bastard. And what? Take we it. just murdered a Wayne, and what of it? Know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. You're, you're weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about you. It's something, something. All bark. There should be a follow-up quest to this called No Bite. But there was, there, there were bites. So if we go back over here, what will we find, I wonder? I'm not Wayne Demon, says <laughs> Lewis. And, and that's all. That's all. That's all there is. Those guys just, yeah, I'm what? No bother. Not interested to see what happened there. And then there's uh, another, oh, here we go. Hello. All bark also bites. <sighs> Hello. Lysette. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. And she hasn't come back yet. Hmm. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? You can certainly I try. I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. Oh, I didn't even get the two bloody heights thing. White <laughs> hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I, I know the fields in the wheat. Big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. But it's my job to feed her. In that case. Why didn't you feed her? Yay, the depressing field, says Yuri Nomos. Playthings. Hmm. What do we think? Where's search. Chloe? With a little luck, someone might have seen her. I like that Clive doesn't ask any anything fastidious for my about you work these what fields? the nature of Chloe. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Jeez. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Never mind. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Lisette. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. Hmm. Off with you now. Oh, oh Fishara says, call it a hembo moment for our Clive. You're absolutely right there. I feel like he should have seen this coming. To be fair to him, I didn't see this coming. I was like, I wonder if we're looking for a cat. Uh, hello, are you? And, uh, work to be done. Ugh. and uh, if you haven't caught it yet, it's not a, it's not a pet we're looking for, I'm afraid. Uh, more brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Mmm. I think people. It's click. 
it's clicking for people. Is that someone napping on the job. No. I hope they don't mind the interruption. Clive. Oh, sweet summer child. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. A crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? You little shit. What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Rebel without a clue says this is a jaw drop moment for me. Same. I only made you do a bit of magic. You little you fucker. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had prissy hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Slapper. Is that all she was to you? A plaything. Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. Mm-hmm. No. Don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Tell just her. Like Get her, Jade. Dad said... Get her ass. Don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Family yeah, that's the most sick. messed up thing, I reckon. And you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember And you treated her like cry. garbage. Make her cry! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you <old> dickhead. Ha 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 ha! That's right. You cry it out. Level up! Yay for crying child! We leveled up! Woo! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Magic dash, thank god. Faisal says at least she's showing a little sympathy unlike the other kid. That's true, that's true. But, oh man, the fact that she ended up like that to begin with is so bad. This place, I mean, they, they queued it up. They said this place was pretty awful. And, uh, yeah. Totally is. Totally is. Um. Yeah. Let's, there we go. Alright. Enough trauma, everyone. Let's get on with the main quest. Can't wait to see how we're gonna be, uh, discriminated against here. Oh, boy. Yay! More, I was intolerant, as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Mm-hmm. Sell me stuff. What do you want? <laughs> Alrighty. Sell my stuff, please. Black blood. Right here. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Um, alright, Bertrand. Bertrand, if that is your real, na real name. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. That's a good point, right. Jen. Only we buried the other bearers, but we just left something. that kid there. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Hmm. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? Trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Mm -hmm. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. Jeez. And that's even we can kind of see that, yes. We get, we're getting Understood. that vibe. Hmm. Okay. Off we go this way, then. Speak with the traveling trader. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. Branded. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Uh, no comment. Hello, traveling trader. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach. At the. Hive is so game. calm in the face of all of this Perhaps hatred as well. 
I suppose he's probably oh, used to it by now. I he's been a bear for I like 13 am years. Good lady servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Oh, 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 Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to mm -mm. trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it mm. was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. Hmm. And do you know where he went after that? It's not looking My good for Tatiana. are usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. <laughs> I would do anything for the day. Anything. anything. No thanks. That won't be necessary. Uh, sure Cheers. And tell her, won't you, that I was helpful. I mean, most helpful. This is it, like, the dame, like, yes, uh, like, in terms of general visage and attitude, I can see why people would be falling over her. But that dress! God, that dress! I hate it so, so much. Please, just, she deserves, she deserves so much better than that dress. Alright, off we go. That's true. Helen says he's also been a bearer in a military context versus a civilian one. I wonder how different that was. It smells of death here. Possib me possibly they, they, you know, have more of a, it smells of death. That's not good. Because, um, I mean, if you're in a... I don't know, actually. I was going to say, like, if you're in, like, a unit with other bears, you know, and there's the camaraderie and you're, you know, yes, you're sent out to die, but, like, you protect and look out for each other. Maybe it's better than being in a town full of people who hate you and, and dehumanize you, but like, I don't know. But then again, you know, you're literally reminded of how dispensable you are every day, so who's to say? It's pretty shit. No matter what way you look at it. Um, oh, loaded alpha, there we go. Uh, loaded wolf. Lovely. Uh, Steven Orse is celebrating two years of membership. Yay! Seeing one child being ripped apart by a wild animal and another one being given lifelong emotional trauma. Result! Oh, well, thank you so much for being a member for two years, Steven. What high time flies. And yes, you're welcome. That was our gift to you. Um, uh, here's hoping they'll have a dress-related update after the stream, says Laura. I mean, you never know. You never know. Um, alrighty. Let's see. Well, unfortunately, I don't think it's a happy ending for Tatian. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. There's that comb, anyway. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. Mm -hmm. You. Did you follow me? All the way from Northreach. Why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things. I have. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Ooh, delusional then. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some demon. An innocent woman has to die because back. some prick this comb, like is completely got the wrong end of the day. stick. I don't believe it. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask us something else. 
He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Dumbass. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Thanks. You've is changed your tune. Oh, Been a bit be more, more helpful. This mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Hmm. Sure. Sure. Doing everybody else's work, may as well do yours as well. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. <laughs> Coffee can. This is if her death wasn't sad enough already. She died in that dress. At least her colorway was a bit better than some of the other ones. Like different shades of red. Because some of some of the other ones, I mean. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, milady. Oh, whatever. People are falling over themselves to be nice to Isabel. It's good to be the dame. Companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. <laughs> Diana, if she becomes a ghost, she'll be in that dress forever. Yes, I'm sorry. It's not good news. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Give it to the next... <laughs> the next girl to come through, I guess. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that nope. it has nope. a place we're burning it. Pile. Okay. Fair enough. Sisterhood of the Traveling Trauma Combs is nice much. <laughs> uh, just a little, just, just girly things. Before you do, oh. I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. Oh, what could the veil be? counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. Mm -hmm. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. It's a big move. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. Oh. I will. And thank you again. Have therapists been invented yet, says Blue is. And Thomas says, As, are there any less sad and horrible parts coming up? I'm getting a bit depressed here. All right, well, first of all, let's pet the pup. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then, yes, let's let's head to the chapel, have a little bit of a, a more fun time. We've got no more side quests to do, so let's... Maybe a little bit of Thunder Daddy will cheer everyone up, eh? Let's let's get let's let's get these good vibes going. There's not enough thirst, that's what's wrong. We've we've just been been dealing with too much sad stuff and we've there's not been enough uh <laughs> enough just just raunchy wanting these characters to like take their shirts off. All right. More for me. Look, I'm going out of my way to pick up two gill again. 10 gill. Whoa. Hold on. Wow. Go. Go into the chapel and we're gonna take our shirts off. Go into the chapel and we're 
Looking at thunder, daddy. Come on. Just kiss. There he is. It's the it's the casual hand on the sword for me. Look at it. It's just like I'm what? The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Oh. Oh my. Only just got here. Jeez. Does that place have a back door? It doesn't look it just looks quite uh, like no matter what angle you tackle it from, it's going to be. Oh, hello. Crystals. That's a fun little detail. I like that. But why do you need a crystal to light another crystal? I feel like it should have been a crystal to light it as a, as a fire. But what do I know? There's that bloody dress again. The pleasure houses. Listen, who asked who asked for a thirsty time of it? As if these two would, would remain unaccosted. Sorry, three if we're including Jill, but these three are far too attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, listen, nobody complained. This is great. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than a... Jeez. Brothel. <laughs> really? Doesn't seem very private. Well, that's the that's the point. Who's paying you any attention when all this is going on? Oh my. <laughs> She's like, alrighty, but you know, so this again. this do you know what this would get you? Proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just the after sunset. Gate. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. You're way too wound up but to be the in the pleasure houses. She's a star. <laughs> Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. Uh-oh. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but... Good <laughs> chill. <laughs> She's so bothered by all the signs coming from next door. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious... Listen, we're all way too sober. Themselves. And way and too close to be talking to about this now. Power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw. Clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. And the sexiest. Wait, what? But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are Jill, spent. you know, I, I get it, I understand, no but... for a broken mug, a torn tunic. But you're bringing the, you're bringing the vibes down, Jill. Can we not just bask in the fact? Can you bask in the fact that you're with two really hot guys in a brothel? No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. I love how unserious he is about all of this. this seriously. <laughs> yeah. Have a little faith, Jill. Never. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. 
think I speak for us all when I say Sid can absolutely First, play the role of villain any time he wants. We're all fine with that. Back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Jeez. Jeez. Well, there we go. <laughs> My goodness. That was there there was just there was just there's too much too many shirts in that scene. That's the only criticism I have. Like, come on. We've we worked hard to get to Oriflam. We deserve a little <laughs> as a treat. Wait, what where are we? What's going on there? Did I what did I do? Did I oh I didn't silly me. Whoopsie. That was a pivotal moment in the story. If we continue, we'll be able to return. Wait a second, let me just double double check that we don't have any uh, more side quests to do before we... Nope. We're good. Let's do it. Pivotal point in the story. We're ready to proceed. <laughs> As a treat. There we go. It's time. Time to get to the pivotal point in the story. Even more pivotal than... Than, uh... Than all of us hanging out. Going hee 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 in a brothel. Dun, 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 dun. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. <laughs> this bodes well. It's a trap. Be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for a perfect plan. They're flirting! That's a flirt! You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent? Just kidding. Worked for you, has it? Lena, just case. Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Embrace this. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of... Suffuse fulfillment. this! <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. And what is? Hmm. Sorry, I'll stop. I'm taking it seriously, I swear. All Nothing right. Wrong. As if he's just sitting down crisscross. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Not yet. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. <laughs> I just said it's just so good. Like, the fact that he just doesn't stop taking the piss, like... Is wonderful. On, he is the exact attitude that Try is needed. Um, when you have like Obviously. protagonists who are, who are quite, quite serious a lot of the time. The passage is empty. Okay. Sneaky, sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> so no, it's chill. <laughs> we were like, oh, and Jill is also here. Sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. It's down here then. There's a chest. I can see a chest in here. Sorry, one second, guys. I'll be right with you. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're already here. 800? Why have I been bothering to pick up two here and there? I love the detailing on Jill's dress and the detailing on Clive's chest, but that goes unsaid, of course. But yes, Jill's outfit doesn't get enough love. It is also very nice. I really like her sword, too. All right. Is Sid saying what I think Let's he's saying, Cesar? Yeah, I mean, probably not, but we're all, that's all in our headcanon, right? Like... Jeez. All right, all right, we, uh, sorry, I guess we have to, we have to attack you or whatever, just do what the game wants us to do, rather than what we want to do. Perfect plan. Five when you're ready. Ooh, <laughs> no idea what's going on. Can't see a thing. But having fun all the same. 
Ooh. Ah, excuse me. You astrologer, is it? Thinks he can thinks he can just just do that. Hit me with a spell. There's no one around here to tank for you, my friend. Anyway, where were we? Back to flirting. Uh Sid, where have you gone? There you are. I'd know that butt anywhere. Oh. Okay. Fine. You watching, Sid? You watching? Is he watching, Jill? I hope he saw that. He never stood a chance. Yeah. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Tee hee. What if we kissed in the tunnels under Oriflam? The main tunnel. That would be my guess. Oh, yes, yeah, Jill. Also, Jill is here. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Taking it real serious, okay? We're getting, we're getting serious about it now. On we go. Here now. Eyes, eyes on the plan. Definitely not on Sid. Here we go. And all good things must come to an end. Never. We might have a bit more company from now on. God damn it. Uh, oh, there's quite a, yes, there's quite a few men here. God damn it! What if we all kissed? Listen, there's room for everyone. And like Jill, you can you can you can be involved if if you like. That's fine. Good. Yeah. Uh, whoa. May as well use this. I see. I always forget to just like I could. I probably could have refilled this gauge or three times since we've started here. But would you just? Didn't seem to want to let me launch into the air, but that's okay. That's fine. We'll use what we've got. Gouge. And oh, hello. <laughs> Laura, I totally smiled and blushed when Sid complimented Clive. It was the hand on the shoulder for me. It's like he didn't have to touch us, but he did. What does it mean? What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. You are intruding on such a moment right now, and you have no idea. We have a talker, exactly. Like, some. See the synergy there? Oh, we're all just on such the same page. And I, I like that we have, we have the same opinions about stuff. Hee <laughs> hee. Totally, totally kicking my feet. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, no. Ruining, ruining the moment. Won't be tolerated, thank you. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, fine. Okay, no, but I'm too distracted. Need to actually fight now, so I guess. Ooh, ooh. Ether. Yes, sorry. You asking for me? Oh, uh, uh, now the embrace. There we go. our chance for that. Okay. 
Oh, as if he's got his whole entire health bar back. Not in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. How is that bloody move? Like, which it just? I can't. I can barely see you to dodge you. Ow! Just. Not this time. Running circles around you, my friend. Okay, and then one of them. Please. Ouch! Oh dear. Okay. I cannot, I cannot even see this guy, but, you know, it's a good time anyway. We're fine. Who needs to see it? Ouch. Um. Yikes. Okay. Torgal, would you, would you bring my wounds, boy? Oh no, yes, no, you absolutely can't take too much more of that. Whee! <laughs> he just set himself off like a firework. As if we're not even halfway done with his, his uh, health bar. Oh, okay. He absolutely missed <laughs> every one of them attacks, life, but that's fine. Alrighty. There we go, that's what's going on. Alright. Uh, hard lunch. I definitely read that as lunch, but it's probably just gonna be Who needs to see? Who needs to see what I'm doing? That's fine. That's alright. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to be dodging this guy's attacks. Like, they're they're very all encompassing. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. And abilities out of the way. I will do this. Bar pulled up again already, and we're done. All right. Anyway. Back to what we were talking about before we were so rudely interrupted. So Sid, you know what? What's your favorite? What, what's your favorite kind of music? Like, what do you? What do you like listening to? Um, what do you do? What do you do in your spare time? Um, like, used to that. what's uh? The on where do you see yourself in the future? The man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Alrighty. Onward. Guard duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. I mean, I know the I know the ether floods are bad and all, but they're just so pretty. Like, it's just so handsome. Um, all that blue glow. Right, where's the lift thing? There we go. Yep. Deep of the blessing, my friends. You said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Yeah, just as well this doesn't affect you guys. This is an ether flood. Just as well we didn't bring there shouldn't be one here, should Gav. We? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us. But I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. It's just as well it doesn't hurt Torgal as well. Like, because um, ether floods do affect animals. Uh, there's no map for this area, so I don't... It's just a little cool chest. Oh, thank God. More meteorite. Jeez, you know. I think we were running low there for a little while. Can't go that way. Okay. On this way. Oh, 
More fool me. Like, I know this isn't going to be worth it, and yet I can't help but go and get it anyway. Well, well, actually, shut me up. Potion was worth it. Never mind. We've already... Oh, God. I'm through my entire stock of high potions already. Um... You right, lads? Oh, the miners. The gods. Yeah, they're not looking great. It, it didn't end well for them. Monsters are said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Oop. Could this be why? Maybe we could call her Isabel. Ooh! Was Daddy a little bit jealous there? Those cards at the gate. It's like, wait, 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 wait. What happened with you and Isabel? They were there to keep did the she... In. Did you... Did... Would you... Were... Um... Uh, uh, just I, not that I care or anything, but uh, did you guys hang out at all, or um, this way? There's definitely a history between Sid and Isabel, for sure, no question. But then I feel like there's a history between Sid and a lot of characters. I love that for him. I love that for everyone. Like, wait a minute, am I going back on ourselves? I think I am. It's the one bad thing about there not being. Yeah, we've definitely been this way. Um, being a map for this, these areas, get a little bit turned around. Um, oh, here we go. I mean, that's not, it's not, like, you know, contextual clues don't really tell you that, hey, it's over here in the next little bit that you need to go. Um, because it's very dark down here, too. Hey, Ducks piloting a mech cat. Uh, hello all, finish this, now playing on Final Fantasy mode. So Final Fantasy mode is um, uh, the, oh, there's a little bit of butt there. Um, the uh, harder difficulty that's only unlocked once you finish the game. Um, I haven't tried it myself yet. I do have New Game Plus unlocked, but for the purposes of this playthrough that we were gonna stream, I felt like it was better to do an OG um, playthrough it's rather than a New Game Plus. Right. Come on then. Impress us. <laughs> Absolutely didn't need to be a slow motion shot there, but I love that there was. And what? <laughs> uh oh. Daddy's in trouble, quick. Some help. Hold on. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it was just like ah, that was that was invigorating. I don't I don't know about you guys, but I I I, I, as I used to be. I just feel a bit more like I'll take that as a thank you. ready to face the day now. Look on the bright side. There's no need to touch there, and they're touching anyway. Won't get lost. Look at how long they held hands for. Look at him looking at his hand afterwards. He's having a wee moment to compose himself after. Woof! I tell you what, right? I don't care whether it was... Whether they meant it or not, it's definitely there. Bit of... Bit of sexual tension. What? Oh, I forgot about Dan. is like, well, can't you use your animal sense? Completely forgot that was a thing. Is it... Oh, there we go. That's the first time I've ever used that. Oh, and Torgal... Torgal just points the way himself, does he? Oh, war cry. Some opponents will use the ability war cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Alrighty. Let's mess him up. Where is he? Who's war crying? I'll give you something to war cry about. <laughs> the fair races. If he would probably know how difficult a deadlift like that is, right? By this by his true beef. Absolutely. I mean, it goes without saying he's true beef. Like, you don't you don't get titties like those without uh, without doing some some workouts. Uh, but yeah, that was impressive. He lifted another uh, beefy individual through the power of beef. It's uh, impressive all around. <laughs> Argus says it would be incredible if they never meant any of it. I know, 
This is the thing, like, it's almost impossible that they didn't, but... But it, it's just, just amazing that, that it's there, all the same. Nightcat says, I suppose these are called Akashics because they're working on the source of all the crystals and potential, potentially all the magical energy. What, I'm, am I missing the terminology? Where, Akashic? Akashic, I don't know where that comes from. I'd be interested to know though. Um, let's see here. Demi Shadow says, I keep wondering if Jill has Crystal's sickness and is hiding it from Clive. There have been several instances where the game camera lingers or zooms in on the arm hand side covered by a leather glove. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's keep an eye out on that, shall we? Um, there's nothing else here, I think, so I think we're headed this way. Yes. Crouch tunnel. Let's go. Oh, Nightcat says it means universal or something like that. People were wondering how it applies here. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Lefera says it's usually used in Akashic records. Huh. Amazing. Learn something new every day. I love that. Um, there we go. There's something here. A little potion. And then there's that thing we saw at the other side of the gate up here. Better be worth it. Going all the way up here. Oh, at least there's a chest as well. That's nice. Potion. Oh, and it used it as well. Ten chunks of hierite. The music is so what is strangely uh, strangely put there. Strangely used. I just love there's nothing to me as satisfying as a, a well placed uh, Scarlet Cyclone. There we go. And would the whole touchpad thing not tell you about a Kashik? You're right, it would, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. Let's have a read. The irreversible change brought about by a living being's overexposure to ether. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self they may once have had and become suffused with life force, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Flora can also turn, resulting in their twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominance and bears, are less likely to turn akashic. So, it doesn't tell us about the etymology, but that's interesting. Um... There you go. A little bit more about Akashic there. Um, Argus says, It originates in Vedic cosmology, if I recall. The, in Western pop culture, it mostly refers to the Akashic uh, rec records, which is the universal repository of all knowledge. I am learning so much. I just, I honestly thought it was a word created just for this game, so I'm loving that it's not. Um... Okay, we've got a big lad over here. <laughs> he just having a, I looked like he was having a wee seat. Um, oh, Alright. Ooh, I timed that terribly. Okay. This. haiku for left field haiku time here's a random thought what's your karaoke song what makes you say so i have many karaoke songs um we love karaoke um me and uh, a lot of my friends before pandemic times less so now um we used to we used to karaoke all the time um so like i'm a big believer in karaoke is not about uh your ability to sing it is in your ability to put on a good show and to uh give other people um, a performance so that they join in and sing with you and then you don't have to be a good singer. Um, so all of my karaoke songs are big. I have different ones for different people as well, like, uh, you know, I have different favourites um, depending on who I'm singing with. So for example, mine and Johnny's uh, 
karaoke song. I don't even know why. I, I can't remember if it was me or them that first put it on, but we always do it now. It's, uh, it's Rasputin by Pony M. Don't know why. Um, and then with my friend Kirsty, it's Part of Your World. Um, with Julia, it's um, Hot and Cold. Um, and with Seb, it's usually, well, we have a bunch of different ones because we do so much, but um, usually, like, Power of Love is always a good one. It's always a favorite of mine. Um, it's a waste. But yeah, I, I fully believe that um, karaoke is all about playing up to the crowd that you're with. So, like, you know, che the cheesier the better, basically. But um, but I love I love karaoke. I think it's such good fun. So that's where we're going. Did I miss anything back here? Um, yes, you're right, Crows. Karaoke is all about singing badly together. So it's not about, like, you, you're on to a lost cause. If you put on a song and it's just you singing and everyone else sits, sits down and politely watches or goes to get a drink or something, you need to get something on that is just going to make everyone lose their shit. So, like, they're just, they're just screaming at you. Like, you have to have it so that you can barely hear yourself over everybody else. Um, and, like, just generally any cheesy kind of... Uh, 90s song or early 2000s song does that oh yeah i actually am a so i love i'm a like i like real slim shady um or uh I see the oh, that some really cool there. Like or um scary. one week by bare naked ladies um ones that are slightly challenging uh or um i don't know uh, there's just so many with ian it's waterloo <laughs> Oh, which power of love, says Crows? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, the um, Huey Lewis. One. What happened to two? Ask one. Oh my. More flirting. Once more. Yes. Aye. As soon as you're trying now. We could watch you do this all day and comment on it all day. It's fine. You take your time. <laughs> As if these two, like, literal superheroes. Gonna keep us out. Yeah. <laughs> Who, like, have bested, you know, godlike things, fight for a living, were, uh, were taken down by a gate there for a few moments. Um, and what's down here? What's down here? That lighting effect is really nice. I'm glad they use it a few times. They're, like, showing it off. The Mother Crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. <laughs> I love how sassy he is. So sarcastic. Oh, we used a little potion. That's good. Ooh, Corvus says, uh, mine is Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Very good choice. And Jill is just going to watch again, says Diana. <laughs> Clive and Sid's karaoke song is Take On Me. Yes, I could 100% see that. No one about. Sus. That's very sus. Oh yeah, Jill's here too. <laughs> Jill deserves better, but we all keep forgetting about her because we're just we're totally caught up in the Clive and Sit Clid Clid. Ooh, that sounds a bit wrong. Clid. I knew it would be big. It's not but a good this. ship name. Ooh. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. It's so pretty. Do, 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 do. You'd think that it patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empires. Is... Wait. You don't mean. I did that. Whoopsie. Aye. My little game of hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Clyde, of course it's Clyde. Don't blame me. He started it. How did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. <laughs> oh man, just yeah. I'd be uh, nag me, Daddy. It's fine. Like totally fine with that. Keep going. Keep putting me down. It's fine. Um. Ooh. 
Okay. Big open space. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> them. Them again. Just hurry up with the killing first. I'll tell you after. Ooh, hello. Ha ha. Yes. That was a, that was a good one. We took out multiple at once. How could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Mm. Two places connected somehow. Mm, maybe. Love the harpsichord in this song, says Burrito Kingdom. Yeah. It's quite unusual, this bit of music, isn't it? Cladolphus, if you're being respectful, says Drusilla. I love that even more. Cladolphus, yes. And we have to be respectful. It is, it is daddy. All right. Open. Good question, Jessica. Is chat currently thirstier for Sid or Clive? We need to know. Speak up, Cla chat. <laughs> Who are you thirstier for right now? Poor Jill doesn't even get a look in. <laughs> Poor Jill. But it's because, you know, we're, we're being... We're, we're sorry, but this is... Uh, it's for the girls gaze and theys. You know? Alright. Cool. That's enough. Oh, hello. Ow. This music is quite lovely. Oh. Oh. This time. Absolutely not. Get up. Ooh. I mean, it's it's a it's pretty much a landslide right now. Uh, we're having it's mostly Sids. Sids, twelve pack of cigarettes in her voice is Burrito Kingdom. Uh, Lauren says Clive, to be honest, his outfit is iconic. Yes, I agree. I do I do quite like the slutty outfit. The slutty corset is everything right now. All of them says Paranormal Sponge Kick. Um, <laughs> Teargon, I think that was the point though, that it's a, that's what it sounds like. All time foxes. I feel everyone calls Clive a pretty boy, but Sid has a charismatic personality. Oh, I think I think Clive is very charismatic as well. It's just that he's kind of going through it right now. He's having a little bit of a moment, but I think later on in the game, like when he's coming into his own a bit more, yeah, he d he he does inherit some of the some of the daddy traits, um, you know, which which we love to see. We love to see it. Jill said Clive more or less in that order. Order says Argya. Okay. Oh, we got the parry. We got that parry. Tyrgon says, I want Clive, but I need Sid. I love that distinction. That's good. It's good to know, know your wants and needs. I mean, we're just, who's taller? We're, all, we're both on a bit of a crouch right now, but I think Clive's maybe a tiny bit taller? Hmm. <laughs> I'd take them all, says <laughs> Lewis. All right. Onward. Ah, oh, Laura says, I really wish I could play this, but no PS5. I really appreciate you doing a playthrough for us. It is Army. my pleasure, believe Soldiers me. I am, the glass gate I am lucky to be able to experience this with you all. That I'm, I'm glad we're all of a mind, you know? It's good to know there when you're again, playing through something. Sure I'm not the only one <laughs> thirsting or reading into stuff that may or may not be there. Alrighty. We're on the ground floor and it looks totally clear, guys. It's a nice wide open space, which means, as we all know, nothing bad will happen. It's just a wide open space that we're gonna walk straight through. Gosh, that's pretty though. Look at that. <laughs> Drusilla Sid would Where love us and leave us and we'd all thank him for it 100%. And you know what? I think we'd be fine with it. It's a story to tell your friends. 
Uh-oh. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Diana, you I've never played a video game before. Well, well you're in good you good here that you're here to Ready to watch guys? him play along with us. Always. In spirit, if not actually. Oh, that was bad. Okay, I need to write. Alright, you guys have to thirst for me now because I have to pay attention. I can't be can't be thirsty and uh, trying to kill a dragon at the same time. That's that's ultra hard mode. Ouch. Thanks, Corgle. Okay, all right, camera. Smack. And, uh, ooh, laser. Nice. Wait. Uh, there we go. Ooh. It doesn't make sense that that would take a while to actually, uh, do. I don't know what that sound was, I'm sorry. <laughs> but to end that, right now. Uh. Close, guy. Like I said. Hook. Yes. Alrighty. Let's let's be real. Let's get serious. That's Medir's cousin. <laughs> yes. Very, very similar, yeah. The Madeir laser breath, that's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you off to? Come back here. Where's he off to now? Off a mind. Caught her eyes, that's not good. Oh shit, what are we meant to do? Oh, we're meant to kind of. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Get back here, you rascal. Where are you? Get your stupid wing out of the way. Ow. Denied. 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 Save, I'll save our uh, limit break for when we get them done. Thanks. Which would be any second now. There we go. Alright, and let's roll out the red carpet for you, my friend. This camera, this camera, this camera. Okay, that's decent. That's not too embarrassing. Damage. <gasps> Dances with dragons. We're gonna have to try harder than that. Come on. Okay, alright, okay, okay, fine. Okay, fine, fine, fine. That's on me, that one. Oh, he's all tuckered out. Oh, 
Belly embrace. There we go. Have this here. No, there we go. Ooh, I'd high up there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. That was close. Whee! Where have you gone? Jill said anytime you want to contribute, you you jump in whenever, right? You'll be stepping on any toes, don't worry. Ooh, that's not good. Love a wee tail whip. Way too slow. The bar is for you. Ooh. Ooh dear. Ooh dear. Come on, camera. There we go. Alright, let's wrap this up, shall we? So close, so close, so close. Come on. Not this time. Ah. Oh. Move your bloody wing out of the way. <laughs> Poked him in the in the nostril. Not the not the most cinematic of endings, but it was it we got there in the end. <laughs> Uh, that was the fight I tried to stop using my medallion of focused evasion. Big mistake. I'm terrible at dodging. <laughs> okay. Well, we leveled up. That's good. We've got some meteorite. Wonderful. Be sure to use that any day now. Aw. I do feel bad for it. And... Evaporated. Jill, don't you act like you did much of anything yes. there. She's grand. She's looking for attention. Baby. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Mm-hmm. Don't you Quite. dare. Don't you dare getting tired on us now. If this all works... And the blessing fades. Things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Mm -hmm. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean hunted. <laughs> Virgil, now back to the sexy cutscenes. They'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. Mm. Should hope so. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Hoo-hoo, he's getting a little bit... Getting a little bit of sass back. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. We're touching. We're touching again. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? <laughs> Tee -hee -hee. I haven't mentioned yet how that collar perfectly frames your traps, because that collar perfectly frames your traps, Sid the Vicious. If that's what you want us to call you. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. But is it is it because we're down here that the crystal kind of looks blue? Because obviously when it's kind of, you know, when you're um, up on the surface, it kind of looks white. Um, when it's sort of gorgeously backlit oh, from the capital with all the, the building in front of it. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? Never. Hey. Oh, wow. We're with you to the end, Sid. Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? Kiss him. <laughs> leveling up for telling a kid how bad they are is up there as an all-time leveling up great. I agree. Um, all right. Here we go. 
said the viciously sexy, says Jessica. <laughs> oh, it's the light that's blue, says Chris. Of course it is, because it's the ether flood. Of course, of course, of course. Um, not the crystal itself. Yes, that is right. Oh no, they're dr they're just dropping potions everywhere for us to pick up. That is not a good sign. Chan, <laughs> what's his name? Sid Delicious. <laughs> oh, I love that we've created such a wonderful safe space for people to be the absolute worst here. Ten bloody hides. Ten pinch it. What are we supposed to make with all this? Because I can guarantee you know we're not gonna. Let's just bask in this in this atmosphere for a moment. I'm sorry. I've just realized. Is Sid wearing Louboutins? Because that looks like a red. Sorry. Is Clive wearing Louboutins? Because those look like a red sole on those shoes. Oh no, not quite. That would be amazing if so. I know some people, for some people, they're just, they're just tactile people and they it's like beautiful. touching and it's a friend thing. But Sid's just a oh, little bit sunbreak. too much. It's the, it's the main thing. No hesitation, straight in there. <gasps> Neil, yay! Permission to tra start transitioning has been given. Next appointment, I'll be starting hormones and I'm on the waiting Thank list for a mastectomy. <gasps> Congratulations! Thank you, Clive. We're taking down this mother Clive crystal in your honor because it's a, such a huge day and such Cole's great news. Clearly made of sterner stuff. I'm so happy for you. That's amazing news. Zarya's going to have a fix when she hears about this. <laughs> Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Yes, this is all going to go completely to plan, everyone. No worries at all. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Da, 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 da. That's not I do. Oh, still got his. Still got his, his. Actually, they all do, don't they? But they just kind of like it's weirder when they're feet steel. You can still hear them. <gasps> hey, Jack escaped the box again. Thank you for the message. I never get to be on these live, and I'm having to drop off my membership. No worries, but I love you, EG guys. I still promise. Of course. Look. Uh oh. What is that? Uh oh. <laughs> Sexy Kanto. <laughs> oh dear. Freight. I need a freight. Yep. I think you do. Get him out here quickly. Come to me. I can't do this without you. Uh oh. Not again. Where are you? <laughs> Don't no touchy. No touchy. Proper creepy looking is this thing. Torgal, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare touch the puppy. Jill, whenever you want to get involved. <gasps> Thank you, Daddy. Thunder Daddy to the rescue. No touching. Bye. <laughs> nice switch. Coming out of my void and I've been doing just fine. Uh oh. Oh no. We're in a void right now. It's never good. We're in a vast expense. Where the hell am I? Oh. 
Ooh. Oh dear. Didn't like that. Ugh. Oh. The little tenderly bits. I've been here before. Yes. Typhon. Uh oh. You. you again. Where are you? What do you want? It's such cool design, though. I really like this sort of interpretation of Typhon. Because Typhon was a wind summon before, I, I think. But here, definitely more um, pestilency. Uh oh. Sid's icon is Ramu, Angelic Witch, um, who has appeared in, in other Final Fantasies. Um, never been this thirsty, though, yeah. Oh, rude. There we go. May as well use this up. Come on. Everyone queue up. Take your medicine. Come on. Boom. Who else? You there. You want you wanted the piece. There you go. Too busy looking at chat there. Let's be getting out of these. These circles seem ungood. Come here, Ah, ah, ah! Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa! I was trying to get into a good position to take down multiples of you at the same time, but actually you're pretty squishy, so maybe it does not matter even slightly at all. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Rhyme says Typhon in myth is the father of monsters. He has swirling winds around him, so way yellow. <laughs> so uh, he works as a wind summon like in the past, but also more Cthulian like here. What I love that. Oh jeez. Um, yes. That's fun. I didn't know that. Um, I mean, I love that all the summons do come from um, different mythologies. Um, and it, it is so fun to look it up. I've never actually looked up uh, Typhon's kind history before, so that's really good to know. Ooh, that was... That was a close one! Oh, hello. <laughs> Aw, he's running the bite by yourself. Oh dear. I like that it doesn't have any teeth. Uh oh. Unleashed. Shit. Whee! You want it back? You want it? Fuck off. It's probably not good. That power isn't yours. Oh. You rang? What are you doing? A lesson a little bit synthy, you like it. But this is mine. If freets come to play, come on. Let's get it. Yes, it's 
time. Let's go. Poor Clive. Migraines are a real bitch. It's so true. As a migraine sufferer, I, I do actually. I feel that representation every time he goes like, because that is exactly what it feels like. No joke. <laughs> yes. All right. Embodying Ifrit again. Melee attack, range attack, evade, and jump. Uh, press triangle after executing a fireball burst to f perform a devastating melee finish known as backdraft. Use circle to sprint. And, okay. Now, I, I think because, remember, at the start, I said um, we, uh, I had to reuse an old save. I may need to go back in and, um, and try to... Uh, Hey, hey, hey! Because uh, I do, we did get some free abilities, didn't we? But then I may have lost them um, in the jump rope you know, to the old save. There we go. There's the first. Hey! Oh, that was nice. One. So how many? How many's in the combo here? Wait. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's it. Nice. Where are you going? Get back here. Uh, dodging like wildfire. Using L while holding circle is an effective method to avoid Typhon's wide-ranging attacks. Very well. Whee! Oh dear. Nope. Whatever you're doing, stop that. It's so fun how you like, because now we're a freak type that looks like a totally different size, but you do forget like when we started off this fight, how absolutely massive they were. One, two, three, four, three, background. Lovely. One, two, three, four, four. Oh. Oi! We're not done. We're not done here at all. Look at the size of this this boss void. And it's as big as you need it to be, you know? It's the beauty of boss voids. <sighs> Get wrecked. Alright. <laughs> Typhon loves a little laser show. Absolutely. Oh, where have you gone? It's done. Mm, I don't know about that. You might not want to count your chocobos before they've hatched there. Uh-oh. How many more could there be? Do not ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. That's all I'll say. Boff. What are you up to? Stop that. Uh -oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's something so funny about the casual swearing there. Because Clive does not strike me as a swearer. That's cheating! It is. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. That's an evolution. It's not good. Final form. Oh! He got his hair did. <laughs> why has he got why has he got a Karen haircut? <laughs> I wanna speak to the manager. As you wish. Who's the manager of this void? Wait. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. Right. That's quite enough. That's quite enough. I'm getting my ass kicked. Come on. This music just, just got 
got it just got wild up in here. <gasps> oh. Oh dear. All right. Oh fuck this one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Demon Wall. I love that it's called Demon Wall as well. Call back to Final Fantasy fans. We know. We know a Demon Wall when we see one. Alright, I need to stop being so... Uh, I need to just, just focus on dodging and not just getting to them as quickly as I can here. Now we can damage. Now we can damage. There we are. Typhon the transgressor. Catic Catic I didn't see that there. Okay. No, ma'am. Stupid me purple fly fireballs, stop it now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, backtrack. Nice. Skrillex has entered the chat, says T Sharp. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, come on then with your demon wall. The music does, I really like this music. It's fun. You need the sound effects, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. It helps you fight better. <gasps> don't cheat! R1, look at how much time you have. You have so much time. The, the main challenge, I think, for those is, um... Is not the timing, it's that the, you, in your haste you press with the wrong button. Oh. Go. His little loincloth. Preserving whatever dignity you have there, Typhon. Da, 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 da. I mean, the presence of a loincloth kind of, uh, you know, suggests that there's something to cover up. But, I don't know, I mean, Efrit's not wearing a loincloth, so... Hellfire time. It looked a bit like Helmo there for a second. Oh. Boop. Whee. Don't you dare. Oh. The backhand as well. How can you even see? There, Typhon, your hair's all covering your face. Put it in a wee ponytail. Bring it back a little bit. I love how Ifrit has mini versions of the horns on his head, on his feet. It's like when you wear, when you wear bunny slippers. You just get little, little bunny ears on them. Hello! Ifrit cares not for nudity. Well, we know that from when Clive just randomly turns up naked and nobody's still, nobody has explained to us why he was naked. Oh, shit. For no reason whatsoever. I mean, not for no reason. We all had a good time, but... Just... Way... Dead. Hmm, <laughs> Let's all kiss and take off our shirts. The end. There we go. Wasn't so bad. Uh-oh, the air just pulsed. That's never good. Air shouldn't pulse. 
Bork. Pertorgal. Uh oh. It's not looking good. Well, uh, enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This. It's down here, Scrat. All right, the hole. <laughs> we'll, we'll find you a healer. Here. No. No, you won't. Wakey, wakey, why aren't you Nicky? <laughs> oh no. Oi! Step back. You creep, get away. Absolutely not, we've only just met. Clive, look alive. Look alive. I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. <gasps> think again. <gasps> oh. <laughs> His eyes are so creepy. The fact that he has a teeny tiny eye inside a normal sized eye socket. Oh. Said no. One left. I'll do me. No. We never got to kiss. Quick. Kiss him now. Before it's too late. Oh, he lit it for him. Try not to talk. <sighs> Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. Oh, TP. But then I met and you. And everything changed. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but I met a life. Wish. Zaddy makes us saddy. <laughs> it's all very well, man. Zaddy Reclaiming does make us saddy. Face. But if he can't choose how he beats it. Quick, Phoenix stone him, quick. Plane. So, I made a choice. between being really thirsty and being, and being really sad as well. say I really do like that it's that like it's you know Clive as a protagonist yeah 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 kills all the things like really you know broody at times whatever but they allow him to actually be emotional as well like positive masculinity you know it's not like crying in this isn't seen as being weak it's just seen as like a healthy thing that everybody does in ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew.
such hair in of Joshua. <laughs> like, it's just so so well conditioned. Such a nice cut where it's like volume on top, and then oh, everyone's oh, Torgal as well. It does look a bit like Roxas. All ten boxes, right? Phoenix Stein showed up too late. Is gross. <laughs> the literal embodiment of. I'm sorry, Aww. Clive. His hand on Jill. Because I arrived for some moments sooner. Mm. Torgal. Torgal knows who it is. Baby. Do you remember me, boy? Oh. I saw you protect them. <laughs> Dragon Father, why didn't you show up earlier and save Sadaddy? I know you're there. Absolutely, it is K-pop hair. Come on, Ultima. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? You're so creepy. My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. Mm. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. Mm -hmm. If you want him, you'll Come have to go Come and claim me. him. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. Boom. A disturbance. Even touching the sides. There, Joshua. Might wanna might wanna do something different. Hair though. That this hair is getting though. us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are Hello. coming to claim our vessel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just giggling at the bot modeling there. <laughs> Look at it! And Look I at this little tushy! No. is a fleeting form. Huh? I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. <gasps> oh. Sorry. Get up, Clive. These are not flames of destruction. Ooh, sorry. Forgotten already. I'm allergic to high drama, apparently. <gasps> Phoenix! Thank you for the blessed shoes. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. Uh oh. Just try and get to my brother now. I kind of wish he'd burp and like a little bit of like but would come out. But. Imagine the absolute panic that this like mountain-sized crystal just just that you've seen your entire life it just starts disintegrating. Mm. 
mean, you have to admire the particle physics, of course, but then run for your life. Meanwhile, somewhere else. Oh no, I forgot about this. The hideaway, no! Gav, don't you dare. Where is he? <gasps> You'll do. Mother. <gasps> you get off of our Gav. Bastard. Oof. Ouch. Gav, we've got to go. Come on, Tarya. Let's go. Oh. He's saving the little promise thing for reasons. Well, I hope you enjoyed depth perception, Gav, because that's that's enough of that for you. Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a stolas? Is that right, Jake the Eagle? Kupka in Polish it means little turd, is that right? That won't be that's amazing. dead so dead well they did warn us it was a point of no return in the story so you know anyway that's probably once i have a chance to that's probably a good place to leave it for now um oh because we're in costness the finest silks from the master Ooh. weavers of randall and Come. I mean, it's a bustling marketplace. Choco sticks. Oh my. Choco sausage. I love that they're not afraid to literally butcher chocobos in this. Look who's look who's got a beard now. <laughs> this is so well. It's such a cool Ongwent jump cut to like a completely different place. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? And you really get a sense of it as well. I'm good, thanks. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. <laughs> She's like, don't waste my time. Don't even bother. Time is money, lady. <laughs> when did we switch to Assassin's Creed? It is giving that. It is giving slightly AC vibes. Five years later. There's a little jump cut, you know? Don't forget to do a hard save. Yes, Kirsty, that is the first thing I'm going to do once we're finished. I promise. Um, are we going to get the hook blade soon, says Virgil? Baby bro didn't join the crew. He peaced out. And look, we've had our bear mark the move. The bear was uh, locked up in the an old courthouse on the edge of town. How did he get even better looking? Who is there to make sure they stay that way? 20% of Jill's script there, says Kevin Crimble. God. Unfortunately true. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Mm. Another. Time skip. To gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So Andrew says Clive is now 33 suffer. years That's old. It's true. I like that, though. Meant, I like it that it's um, who frees them. 30, 30 something protagonists. You know, it's a, tr it's a different sort of tact for Final Fantasy. Usually we're like. 
<laughs> like people are considered super old at like 22. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Yeah. We got we got new thunder powers, we got a new scar, we got new facial hair. Just don't Who's say the I who's the zaddy you. now? You're Sid now. And if anything happens to him, we're finished. Yes, yeah, so we've taken up the mantle of Sid the Outlaw in the five years that we've been uh, we've been doing this. Yeah, I like that too, Burrito Kingdom. The, the sword changes in the cinematics. It's a shame that it's only the sword, but um, but it's still quite a nice touch. <laughs> Same leather outfit, though that has to smell pretty right by now since Dragon Father. True. All right. Well, if it's gonna Please, let me say, oh, not quite yet. <laughs> you have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. Oh. <laughs> Virgil's got. I love Sid being the new Dread Pirate Roberts. Yes. Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you. No sign of Hugo. It's funny how Clive visibly ages, but Jill doesn't. You know. Female protagonist not afforded that luxury, but hey, let's uh, let's just bask in, in the hotness of everybody. Crow says, "I don't think you can save for a good while." Hmm. Let's see if we can when we're when we get control here. If not, then we'll do this fight and then see how we go. I'm here to even the odds. Ooh. Just a little just a little showing off. The it's, here. it's Sid. Yeah, it's Sid. Oh guys, look, it's Sid and hi look at how hot he is. Jill, use your words. Come on. Oh no, we better not fight Sid. So many others! Safe. Yes, Rami powers, power of thunder. Technically, it's lightning. It's lightning powers. It's not thunder. We're not attacking them with sound. Um, lovely. Rami's iconic feat, blind justice. Barrage of ball lightning, up to nine targets. Determined by locking onto them, the lightning will temporarily remain fixed and can be ignited by striking. Sid dies here. Ah, not really though, guys. Screw these guys, that one guy in particular. Alright, now let's. Oi! Don't you bloody dare. Here. So, this does take a while to do, is the only problem. You can have some too, there you go. But I mean, the oldies are goodies too, so. Have that. Um, oh, yeah, I was trying to see if I could save, wasn't I? No, I can't. Alright, Crows is right. How many are there? A few. Titan senses with guards. <gasps> how dare, how very dare. <laughs> nope, nope, they're dead. There we go. That guy was ultra dead. Oh, where are you going? Where are you off to? Silly sausage. Here you go, have that there. Mm -hmm. Oop. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. <gasps> I don't want to. I never want they to hurt the kittens. Mm. Why do you force me to, to harm the the nice creatures? I'll fight like constructs and soldiers and robots all day long. 
But don't look at how pretty their look at how pretty their fur is. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Ah, no problem there. Come on. Oh no, no, see, I always bloody do this. This is danger ops. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Just grab it by the head. Oops. Oops. Oh no! This isn't personal. I didn't want to do this. I, I, I would have, I would have stroked you, brushed you, given you dreamies. It's over. But it was not to be. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, level up. Well, after five years, you'd probably, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Lightning shard, nice. And upgrade our sword. Oh. That kitty's been doing doing lots of lifting though. Insane lats on that cat. <laughs> to hell with this. Yeah, fair. They'll tell Hugo. Ah, I'll let them let tell them. Hugo. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Hello. Oh. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? Your hair yeah, looks great, by the way. Saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. She's just had a blue eye, like, just fresh from the salon. That was the first thing she did after being freed. For five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? I don't think they do. What want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. Okay, so it's not gone it's well right. for us, it seems. I'm sorry. Well, you're welcome, I guess. I'm sorry. But I didn't kill your friends. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we will stay. You can lead the horse to water. That's the phrase that springs to mind there. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. He did, it's true. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Hmm... Jill, Jill is meaner than Clive, and I love her for that. It's true. She is, yeah. He's way kinder sometimes than I think is is probably um, sensible to be. 
Jack escaped the box again. First time I saw this scene, I felt like I feel like it's the first time I saw in a game body language that told me how they felt. I wondered why they seemed angry. This game is something special, I swear. That's so true, yeah. Um, boss Max. Garud Windstorm. Really wish I thought of that several episodes ago. Diddle. Amazing. Alright. How do you get his brand removed, says Bryce. They do go into that, I think. Alright, back to the hideaway. Wait, can I save now? No. Okay, let's go to the hideaway, check out the new and improved hideaway, and then and then finish up. Because I am hungry. <laughs> Benny Mare, Central Storm. It's pretty. Nice, nice that location. Night five years ago. All the key stuff what for many really was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Oh, it's to give them a better tomorrow. They see only that we've made their lives harder today. That's kind of fair. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. Targo. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. Hmm. A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. <laughs> Claire was like, not no, John, monologuing. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And... I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Wee. <laughs> Torgal is like, now it's my time to shine. Awoo. Oh, that's excellent. Look at it. I feel like if someone really wanted to find you, it, it's a little bit ostentatious. Not very well hidden, but it's in the middle of a big lake, I suppose, so. All right. Home sweet home. Hideaway 2.0. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Well, there we go. Let's leave exploring Hideaway 2.0 to next time, um, which actually may be a pre-record on my part because I'm uh, I'm going. Uh, there we go. Player save. It's done. Home sweet home. Eleven. All right. Um, because I'm going to be uh, uh, off for the next few days, um, so I might. Uh, pre-record uh, a shorter um, let's play so that uh, just to help out the channel while I'm gone um, so hopefully uh, you can tune in for that and um, and then we'll be back with another stream uh, maybe towards the end of next week but that was a long one thank you to everyone who hung out uh, who, who contributed to the thirst it's all very much appreciated I hope you had fun as much fun as I did um, and yeah we'll, we'll, we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep going I hope um, and yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go get some lunch, uh, and obviously a big drink of water as well, because, whew, the thirst, it's overwhelming. <laughs> um, I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye!